Hello my beauties and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a nail haul. I have a few supplies that I've been stocking up. Hopefully I can remember where everything's from and I'll show you guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it. Lots of fun stuff. The first thing I got here is this Mia Secret Professional Nail System Cover Pink Acrylic Powder. I've been really 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 wanting to try this you guys so I purchased it so yeah this is the color in cover pink very very pretty can't wait to try that and then I went to the mall and in I believe it was Hobby Lobby I got two of these containers this one I just got my clear acrylic what I use I do have more here that I also use from Mia Secret. This is the clear acrylic that I use, but I like to put some in a container just strictly for myself. I was thinking about using this one for monomer, but we shall see. Okay, moving on. I got this 120 piece white. Well, it's not white, it's clear. Now our tips, I bought a bunch of these because I like to use these for my practice can and when I had purchased them the first time I purchased them off of eBay it only came with three packs five six seven eight nine ten it comes with ten I love these tips because of the fact that they're just so long and I can do really really long nails or I can shape them to what I want. They're super, super long, you guys. And I also like them because on my practice hand here, I don't like to glue on my tips. I don't wanna mess up. Mila, this hand was kinda pricey. You can do it, they show you how to do it and everything. I just don't wanna risk it, it's my personal preference. You see, you can take the nail right off. And these, I find that because they're so long, I can still put them all the way in in there and still have a beautiful long nail you guys so this nail just gives you so many options if you do have the practice hand and you don't want to glue your tips but you want a long enough tip super super awesome for the ready guana practice hand so I did go ahead and grab a bunch of those and I'm fully stocked now and I'm super excited about that I got a bunch of those <laughs> and then next I purchased this Expert Touch Lint Free Nail Wipes by OPI. This comes with 325 wipes. These are my go-to. Like, I love these. They changed the game for me. I used to buy the Lint Free Wipes from Sally's. I'm just gonna have to say it. They trash. This holds your liquid, you guys. I don't know if it's because it's like a cloth type material almost. One of these I can do probably all 10 nails if I saturate it enough. I love 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 these I'm actually gonna go ahead probably today or tomorrow and put in another order because I like to be fully stocked up even though this is stocked up but I have put quite a bit of gap into it so yeah I just absolutely love these and they cost about five or seven dollars as well so again I'll leave everything you need to know down below just in case you are interested in purchasing anything I also do have an Amazon faves link that you can go to that it'll show you all of my faves that I like to purchase off of Amazon when it comes to nails and things like that so from Walmart I purchased the Sally Hansen Insta Dry in the color Petal to the Metal 253. And you guys, I had to get this color because it was kind of like a rose gold to me. I don't know, to me, this is like a rose gold, but like a pinky rose gold. And I like to use these for stamping. I have a bunch of them. I also have the Young Nails stamping collection as well. I'm not sure if I ever did an unboxing of that. I think I did. If I didn't, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got in the mystery box. Anyway, so yeah, I love to use these for stamping and I need it like, like a pinky or I would say a rose gold color because I do have silver and gold. Yeah, these work pretty okay for stamping. I really, really like them. There are some better stamping polishes out there that are probably more pigmented. This is pigmented to me, but I know there's better stuff out there. I just love Insta Dry by Sally Hansen. So I got that and then from Amazon, I purchased this Koopa. Gelfinity, the matte gel top coat. 
you guys this is bomb it really really is um i love 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 this mat and i have a couple and don't get me wrong the other mats that i have are awesome you know they're pretty good but i just i feel like there's so many mats out there and there there's a lot more out there that's better quality from what i got my matte polishes when i first got them i'm like oh wow they're matte but now that I compare them to newer things on the market, I'm like, I have a satin finish matte. This right here is full-blown matte. Like, I just absolutely love, love, love this. Whenever I have a client, I always use this and they love it. They get the full effect matte. So, yeah, I had to, had to purchase that. And I think, I think this was $12 off of, no, I actually purchased this off of ebay i actually purchased this off of ebay you guys so love it okay next thing here just some simple cotton rounds that i got from dollar tree i tend to go through these really fast as well and i use these to clear off my stamping plates when i stamp off of amazon i purchased these rhinestone picker uppers you guys these are so good i absolutely love them i hope you guys can see that this is by, I want to say, Boan. Hope you can see that. But I love that this is a dual end. You have your wax tip and then you have this tip right here that has a tiny little ball on it for you to move around your stones. And you can also use this for nail art, but I use it just to move around my stones. I have been using this one quite a bit, so it's not as pretty as this one. This one's completely new. I absolutely love, love, love these. I love the color. They look very chic and just really pretty in your nail area as well but they do work really really well so got that and again they were two for the price of one and as you can see they match <laughs> okay next from aliexpress i purchased these buffers this is not the first time i purchased these the first time i purchased them was off of the born pretty store i found the same ones that i bought off of this site on aliexpress for a lot cheaper as well and it's the same exact thing just doesn't have the born pretty label on it i really really love these these are 100 180 grits this is the coarse side this is the finer side I like to use these to put in my clients bags that I have for them I have individual bags for them that I do their prep with so I like to put this in there you guys know I have not been doing nails I know with this whole like coronavirus thing going around in the world you know everybody is not doing business at the time and neither am I so this is just to stock up and when things do get better I have so yeah purchase that and then I did purchase a pack of these. I believe these came with 12 in them, but I already used them. I purchased these because I've been doing like little nail kits, tiny, tiny little bags that I like to give my clients after I do their nails just for them to have in their purse. I'll go ahead and show you. I did also make more because I don't know if I want to start like selling them. They're really, really tiny, cute for your bag, you guys. In each one, you have a mango dry skin balm, which this stuff is amazing. You have a lemon sage lotion by OPI, which I love. And some of the other ones have a different lotion as well, which is also bomb AF. It's by Candy Coat. And then we have cuticle oil which this is the mango cuticle oil as well, and a little nail file, and a tiny nail file. Super, super cute. And then I also do have my card in there. So yeah, you guys, I also purchased the organza bags. I got them from Dollar Tree, really, really inexpensive. But I thought this was just really, really cute. I decided to make these around the holidays as like a little gift for clients, you know, just as a thank you, a little gift. And then I was just like, oh my God, like I could do this for each and every client and maybe even sell them. Yeah, you do get some pretty good products in here that I love. So, yeah, that's what I got this for. The next thing that I have here is this microphone. It did come with a pouch, but I gave my husband the pouch. So, because it's a really, really beautiful pouch. And I don't know where he has it at to show you. But it does come in a really, really nice pouch. And I had this sitting, you guys, squished. So, like, it kind of 
got a little messed up. But this mic is awesome. I purchased this off of AliExpress, you guys. You can connect this to your phone. I did try to connect it to my camera here, but the volume, it just isn't the greatest quality. So I think I would have to buy a specific mic just for the camera that I have, that I'm using now. But for your phone, if you're recording off of your phone, this is great. The quality is amazing. You get up close and personal. You can hear everything you're saying. It's not too loud, it's not too low. It's perfect, so I definitely recommend it. If I find the link to the specific one that I purchased here off of AliExpress, I'll definitely leave it down below, but they have a bunch, you guys. You know, you just have to definitely do your research and look at your reviews, make sure everybody likes what they're getting and then purchase, you know? I always do that, so this was a hit on AliExpress, so I purchased it. Next, off of AliExpress as well, I purchased these cat eye polishes you guys these are so pretty they were only like 99 cents it does come like in a little plastic container i don't mind it just have to be really careful when placing this near your lights and things like that but these colors though i mean i wish i had more product in here honestly speaking this is a gorgeous i'm gonna show you a nail that i did with this specific color this is an a001 this one says it's a 5d i don't know if you can see that that's a 5D. And then this one just says color gel because this is just the black that you put behind it. So you would lay your black first and then go ahead with the cat eye polish on top of it and you get the most beautiful effect, you guys. It's so, so freaking nice. Again, these were 99 cents on AliExpress. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the nail that I did. So this is the nail that I did with that cat eye polish. How bomb is that, you guys? I mean, this is gorgeous. And if you guys are interested in this beautiful hand, I have all the links you need to know down below to purchase them. You can use my 10% off coupon code to take off a couple of dollars off of your purchase. I do get a commission off of it, just in case you guys are wondering. But yeah, it does save you some money. So yeah, I love her. She, and she is posable, you guys. She is bomb AF. Yes, girl, yes. Anyways, yeah, so this is the nail I did, and I love it. So these are really, really, really good quality, you guys. These are the Nail Vision ones. I suggest you go on AliExpress and you get you some because they're good. It sucks that they're in a small container. The bottle does say five milliliters on it, so that's really not much. But again, the quality is there, you guys, so it's worth it to me. I love it. So I got that, and then I purchased from AliExpress a bunch of nail foils, you guys. These nail foils, I have six, seven here. They're bomb. I love them, love them, love them. I am gonna show you each one individually so this is the first one and you do get a ton of product you guys like this is well well worth it look at that look at that so pretty so that's the first one i got there's another one that i purchased like i've been obsessing over these marble prints you guys this one is coming off a lot lighter on here, but it is a really, really nice green and blue. This is the next one that I purchased. And these were like 99 cents as well on AliExpress. This is the next one. Look how pretty that is. So, so pretty, you guys. This one I did do on a nail. I did this one and this one on a nail. That I will be showing you. I love uh, this one. This one's super gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I love it. So these two here, I have on Mila. I did add some foil to this one. This one here. Beautiful, you guys. With a nice foil gel, these go on like butter. I absolutely love them, love them, love them. And then I purchased this one, which is just like your regular marble print, which I love. Matches my table. 
<laughs> I'm obsessed with marble, like really, really. And then the last one here that I have, I absolutely love this one. I purchased this, where is it? This blue one, because I thought it was the same exact one as this one, but just in a blue shade. This was not the one that I thought it was, so I do have to go back online and purchase the right one. Like there's one that's exactly like this with the gold foiling in it, but in blue. Like I need to get that ASAP, so. These are gorgeous, again, really, really inexpensive on AliExpress. If I could find the links to all of the ones that I purchased, I'll definitely leave it down below. The last thing I got here is the most awesomest package I can get. <laughs> I purchased Young Nails Airbrush. Yes, I did. I have a couple of more things here that I'm gonna put to the side that I also purchased for this airbrush. So. They had a sale on their site and I got this baby for 50 bucks, you guys. Free shipping included. Like, you cannot beat that. I think this goes for 150 and I got it for $50. Oh my God. You guys don't know how excited I was. You don't even know. I've been dying for an airbrush kit, a portable one, so I can do some ombres, you guys. I've been practicing my ombres. They're okay, I can do a lot better, but I just feel like with this airbrush machine, it'll be a lot easier for me. So it does come with this manual, showing you all the detailing on the airbrush and you know all the information you need to know, how to clean it, which I have played with this already. And right off rip, I'ma let you know, I've watched so many videos on it. There are a couple of tweaks that you need to do in order for this to really, really work full blown. A lot of people purchased it and complained that this is not working, it's getting stuck, it's cloggy. There's some things that you need to do to your machine prep wise before you play with it to get it running functionally. Also, I'ma just let you know, you have to get some good airbrush paint. The one that I got is okay. It's still a little bit too thick in my opinion. I'm gonna purchase um, a better one, a more expensive one, cause you know, it works fine, but then after a while it does start, start clotting my tip. So I'm constantly cleaning my tip and then spraying, you know, that kind of sucks, but I can make it work. Young Nails does have their own paints as well, but you have to purchase them individually and they don't even have all their colors anymore. So, so this is the little dropper that you can use to take out your paint and put it in there. Honestly guys, this is crap. I'm not gonna use this. Once you use it in one paint, you literally have to struggle to clean this thing to use a different paint for the next time. So I don't really like that. Let me start with this. This is the brush. And this is what I'm talking about that you need to learn how to maneuver. So you push down and back. See how that moves? Watch videos, you guys. I might want, I'm gonna end up, I'm not gonna demonstrate in this video here, but I am gonna do a video demonstrating how I use this, showing you some techniques that I've learned. I still have to, a lot to learn, you guys. I've only used this once, but me and my husband was definitely playing with it and we learned a lot about it. So I will show you in that video how to clean this and you know, how to work with this. This is the charger, again, once you purchase this and you get it, the first thing you wanna do, ladies and gentlemen, is charge it. Charge it fully because there's been a lot of reviews that they start using it and the drill doesn't have power. So because it doesn't have enough power, it's not performing the way it's supposed to be performing. And that's because you're supposed to charge it fully before you play with it. So I recommend you do that before anything, that way you get the best use of the product. So this is the charger. And mine is fully charged because I charged it. And this is the portable airbrush machine. Mine does have paint on it already. That's another thing. Paint does definitely get stuck on it. I mean, you could just scrape it right off. It comes off, but whatever. This is definitely gonna get paint on. I'm, the bottom is rubber. The back here is where you would charge it. And then the top is where you would put your gun. When you're putting your gun on, you wanna turn the bottom. And then 
you can gradually turn it this way and you want to stop you don't want to keep stretching this until it's completely tight you're gonna lock some of the air in and obviously this is gonna be all the way over here so your button is gonna be on the side I have two settings that's the first one and that's the lower one and that's off so the first one's high the second one's low and the third one is off so you would push this down back to let out the air down and back if you just push down all you're doing is letting the air out when you push back you let the product out of the the little indentation here where you would put the paint in that's where this is where that comes in you guys i absolutely love it i love it i love it it's so pretty i can't believe i got it for 50 bucks follow them follow them that's all i can say because they stay be throwing sales when i purchased my stamping polishes from them i got it on sale as well you guys i have purchased the the hundred dollar no the fifty dollar mystery box and it was worth a hundred bucks or 150 bucks something like that and i got a bunch of caption stamping polishes you guys so they stay be having deals on their site um and then this as well it does come with this little tool to maneuver some things in your airbrush okay so i got that for 50 bucks on the young nail site and then from Amazon, I purchased this media airbrush cleaner. I just dropped it, you guys, so it has a ton of bubbles in it now. So yeah, I purchased this airbrush cleaner. It's ready to use. This was the best one that I could find good reviews on. I'm pretty sure there's better ones out there, but I got this one, Fast Acting Odorless Environmental Safe, and this does work, you guys. It works wonders i tried it already and i absolutely love it you can definitely use it also to put in the little spot where you put your paint in and if you feel your paint is clogging up too much you can put some of this in there and it releases that paint so i purchased that and then i also purchased these badger airbrush paints uh you do have to get opaque i don't know for some reason they make sure they emphasize that that you have to make sure they're opaque so i do have a couple here again you guys this is great paint i just feel like it's still a little bit too thick i do want to you know search on the market and see if i can get some better airbrush paints that are a bit thinner that'll just work a lot smoother on my airbrush machine so i'm not constantly cleaning the tip off these definitely need to be shaken up before you use them you guys to get everything mixed together but you have blue yellow white brown red green and black and these are really opaque that's one thing i love about them pigmentation is definitely there you guys that is the end of the haul my beauties um i hope you enjoy everything i got i'm always buying nail stuff you guys i still have stuff coming in but with all this going around in the world there's lots of delays on packagings and things like that make sure when you get your packages you're definitely cleaning them down with a disinfector wipe <laughs> but anyways um yeah if you have any questions leave it down below i'll definitely make sure to leave all the links to where i purchased things at down below just in case you are curious where i got something and how much pricing is thank you all for watching like comment share subscribe if you haven't already and have an awesome day my beauties Bye.